Hello. Welcome to Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog dedicated to following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper. Welcome to Keeping Goals from the island of Kefalonia. There's Sean. There's Dad. Oh, over there. And there's a huge mountain with some clouds and the sea. But that'll be in the next vlog on here. <laughs> but this one, we're going back to Madrid. Champions League final day, Real Madrid, Liverpool, me and Dad watching it. Let's go. Vamos Real. One hour later. The next day. Hello. Hello. From. Hola. Hola. From Sabeles, which is the fountain where Real Madrid come when they win a Champions League, which they did last night. So me and Dad have come to see Ronaldo and Co with the trophy. Bale. Bale. Yeah. The real winner, but he is up there. <laughs> so the statue is where they put the, the scarf round for Real Madrid, and there's a lot of people here. Up on the roof, <laughs> up on the bus stop, <laughs> and all round here. After the Champions League final, I put up a tweet which was mentioning the fact that after the final, Karras was on his own at the final whistle. The manager didn't go up to him, the players didn't go up to him. The first one there was his goalkeeping coach and then Gareth Bale and Real Madrid players. And I put up a tweet, I don't know if we can ping it up here, which was talking about how I was disappointed at that, being a goalkeeper, but also discussing the fact that Mistakes can happen to anyone. Karius is an elite goalkeeper. I know people will make jokes about him after that final and it'll be very difficult for him to come back from, but he's an elite goalkeeper. He's made the Champions League final, he plays for Liverpool, he's a young goalkeeper, and those mistakes can happen to anyone. A lot of people were abusing Karius for his mistakes, a lot of people were supporting him, a lot of people were saying how it affects their kids as goalkeepers worrying about mistakes and that's one reason why they don't want to play in goal. You work very hard as a goalkeeper to limit the mistakes, but mistakes will always happen. I felt so sorry for Karius that it happened on the biggest night of his career so far. You have to be ready for that mentally. You can't let a mistake suddenly destroy your confidence and destroy your belief in your own abilities. You have to be so self-confident and know your quality that even when the world is pointing at you and laughing like they were with carriers, you can bounce back from that and you know inside how good you are and how hard you've worked and the level that you've got to and the level that you will get to by continuing to work. You're the one in the goal, you're the one with the gloves on, you're the one who's brave enough to take that position when so many others aren't. And that takes a lot of courage in itself, so don't let mistakes deter you from that progress. And when you make the match winning save, or win the penalty shootout, or have a season which wins your tr uh, team trophies and titles, that's the upside. And that upside massively outweighs any downside you'll feel from making mistakes on the odd occasion. So, 
Keepers Union. But <sighs> what a goal from Gareth Bale, by the way. Jeez. Anyway, back to Madrid again. And this time, we are in San Sebastián in a bull ring with Sid Lowe. Sid Lowe wrote the article about me in The Guardian. Great guy, brilliant journalist. If you don't follow him, follow him on Twitter. And the three-sided World Cup, which I will leave to Connor and to Sid to explain to you. All right, enjoy it. Speak to you later. Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable. So, Sid, explain three-sided football to me in less than a minute. Less than a minute? <laughs> right, it's a game of football with three goals, three teams, only one ball, and the team that concedes the fewest is the winner. Now, obviously, what this means is that you get a position, a situation during the game in which the two teams that are losing can gang up on the team that's winning. Uh, you get a situation in which you don't trust the other team. You can play with them. In theory, I can run through and give the ball to someone on the other team to score against the third team. But I don't trust him not to get the ball, turn around, go the other end and score against me. Exactly. So basically, it's a game of, uh, well, it's a game of football, but with, uh, with, with politics. quite a lot of politics and strategy going on. Yeah. And I think it might be even worse because this is a World Cup, so there might be some... Uh, Political national alliance. And we're probably on our own if it goes to that. It's England. European In England, Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. So if you've got that, you've done better than us. Yeah, so. I mean, we won't really know until we're on the pitch. Then we'll, we'll see how we go and we'll let you know. <laughs> So obviously what it does is it means that everything you do is from the base of protecting your goal first. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh what, a save. Save. what a save! He is class. Oh, so as you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty. I've managed to be roped in, playing for two teams, playing for Sid's team, who's in goal, and the Italians, and also for a team of lads from London who have come all the way just to play this game. There's teams from Germany, Italy, Madrid, London, and I've scored two goals, I think, and I'm slowly getting the hang of the game. But we're in the final, the Italian team, and I'm on the bench at the minute. Impact sub, come on and win the final. It's tiring, but class. Welcome to Madrid Airport. I'm about to board a flight to Venice for the week because Frankie's been studying in Padova, which is a town near Venice, and I finally finished football, finished university, so I'm going to go see her for a week. Longest season I've probably had finishing on the 3rd of June, being the last game, so my body is starting to feel it. I'm feeling the niggles and the little injuries that you pick up over the year, and by the end of the season, most players will tell you, your body's giving up so need a rest need a relax need a chill so going to venice nothing no hard work just chilling relaxing seeing venice seeing frankie seeing everyone there and then home We're paddleboarding on Lake Garda. Welcome to Italy. Mia, welcome to Keeping Goals. Thank you. 
as the person who came up with the name keeping goals. Have you got anything to say to the vlog? You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're right, Frank, so you're going to stand up, yeah? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. That was horrible. Whilst I was in Italy, I was also lucky enough to go and visit classes 5A, 5B, 6A and 6B at EIS, which is a school near Bassano del Grappa. And it's the school where Frankie's sister and her husband both work as teachers. And I was lucky enough to go and visit the classes because they are big fans of keeping goals and they've been watching the vlogs and keeping up with what I've been doing and how I've been getting on in Spain. and and those things so I got to go and see the kids and do Q&A's and talk to them about how important school is as well as your sport and your passions and how the two can actually work together and help you to be better in what you eventually want to do as a professional or when you get older and it was great to see them and chat to them and say thank you for being such big fans and followers of the vlog and everything that I'm doing and we even had a bit of a kick around and some penalty shootouts and and all those kind of things so it was great and I really enjoyed it and it it was very touching for me that people are so supportive of me in what I'm doing and in the vlogs that me and Johnny make and the beginning of this career and this attempt at becoming a professional footballer and making my way in the game. So to have people like the classes at EIS and the teachers paying such close attention to how I'm doing and, and giving me such love and support, it was very touching. and. A day that I won't forget because it was great to see them and yeah thanks for having me EIS and I'm looking forward to when I can come back so keep watching the vlogs and stay in touch and I will see you soon all right bye boom back in Madrid lovely five days in Venice with Frank's seeing Mir and David too. One more day in Madrid and that's it. So today I'm gonna get the metro back now once I picked up my bags and then just chill, have a bit of food, pack up. Tomorrow I have a session with Manolo, last session with him for now and then back home Tuesday. So it's a short stop in Madrid for one day to fit in a training session. Priorities. So that's it. Last training session with Manolo done. And that's it, last thing in Spain. Home to pack and get ready for tomorrow for the flight home in the morning. 
it's been it's been great to train with Manolo and I want to use the training relationship that I have with Manolo to highlight to you all how important it is to find someone in your field or in whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to learn or excel at to find someone who knows more than you and just latch onto them and use them in any way you can to try and improve your own ability and your own knowledge on the subject. Manolo is a great coach. I'm lucky that I have lots of great coaches that I can talk to that I've met through my career so far and hopefully there'll be more that I'll meet on the way. Scott Healy in Manchester who I've been training with in his goalkeeper schools and one-to-one -one since I was a kid. Fuzz Khan who I've said to you guys who is the high jump coach of British Athletics and has helped me to improve my physical dynamics and improve my capabilities. But Manolo helped to teach me so much more about my technique and how I could adapt the skill set that I have to be successful in a different football culture and in a different football country. Manolo's had a huge impact on me and I'm very, very grateful for the time and the energy he has spent to help me improve but also for his kindness and his friendship because that's something that you get as the relationship develops. So go and find somebody who can help you get better because you can't do it on your own. But that's it, back to pack and then flight in the morning. Let's go home. <laughs>